Okay, so we gotta go down into New Londo to take the other route that we did not take before. I think I may have already unlocked the gate, but I don't quite remember if I did or not. Anyway, we shall find out. Hmm. I'm, I think I might have. I have the feeling that I did. Maybe. When we went down there to get the Firekeeper soul, but I... Yeah. Bad memory, bad memory, bad memory. Okay, so... Okay, it's already down. That's... Strange. Okay, so there should be another doorway down here. Yep. Okay, good. Master Key! Soul of a Nameless Soldier. Fucking Blight Town. Ah, gonna need some poison resist. Uh, that too. Um, yeah, we want both of these. Take those off. Uh, let's see here. That on. That on. Ah, still too much. God damn. How about this? Still too much. What about just leather armor? Awesome. Oh man, I'm gonna need to put up the levels on this video for sure. This is dark as fuck. Hello, ogres. By stealth. Bam! They have a lot of health. Run. Get to the ladder. Get to the ladder! Hello, Blight Town, you fucking laggy shithole. Literally. It's literally a laggy shithole. I don't- I don't, actually don't think there is a better word for it. Oh, man. Alright, 500 souls, I'll take that. But that is a chaos bug over there. You can probably kill that. Rip. Ooh. It's not as laggy as I thought it would be, but it's Eh, it's alright. Actually, these ogres may be gone now, so let's get this item that was up here. Awesome. Key to the New Londo Ruins. That is very, very important. Okay. Down we go. Into the blight of this town. Man, the atm- this is like- this is the pinnacle of Dark Souls atmosphere. And- and lag. Uh, can you please just slide down? Like, this is- I don't, I don't think any, anything gets better than Blight Town's atmosphere. Uh, please, please be kind. Uh, the dart blower. <laughs> no way I'm trying that. So, in there, we can get a Firekeeper Soul- Ah! I don't know if this shield protects against toxic, so let's find out. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I was not prepared for this. Ah, uh, shit. Let's, let's, uh, let's just continue on. I don't want none of that shit. I've only got one toxic. Uh, one. Ah, fucking cried spiders. 
more like lag spiders. Aha! Oh my god. Leave me alone. Seriously. How do I get down from here again? Do I just seriously take one of these? Oh, I'm not from that side, but... Oh, I hate this thing. Oh, <laughs> this could be the death of me. Okay, we made it on. We are safe for now. Oh. Okay. So, if anyone wants to know, the way you get through Blight Town is basically these torches that are on these, uh, that are on these ladders. That is what you have to follow to get through Blight Town properly without losing your way. Holy shit. Fuck me. So laggy. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the poison resist stuff though, so gotta be careful here. Quick, quick, quick. I believe the poison resist stuff is on that, on this body maybe? Hey. No, that's just a soul. Shit. Uh, I don't know then. But it's not very... Toxic is what you have to watch out for. Poison is not that big of a deal. Oh, I hate Blight Town so much. Let's get this poison office. And then we'll go and get this dragon scale. At least I think it's a dragon scale. That's what I remember. Then again, I have been misremembering a lot of things. It would have been cool to have an NPC show up in- like, an NPC is meant to show up uh, when you get this treasure chest, but uh, it appears outside and it's the uh, I forget what it is. Man uh, it's Manny to Mildred. Maybe it- is that, is that the one from Dark Souls 2? It's one of the Butcher NPCs, Dark Phantoms. I don't remember which one it is though, I'm pretty sure it's Manny to Mildred. Um... Alright, so... We are going to repair... Um, and then we want stuff that is... Actually, you know what? Hmm... What has the best fire defense? So, fire... Fire defense 12, 18, 18... 1754? Oh yeah, but it's heavy as fuck. Alright. That's not bad. Can't complain. Fire defense is 11, 6, 6, 33. Yeah, of course it's that. Uh, let's see here. 8, 8, 8. Five, four, fifteen, twenty-one, eight. Okay, so this is the best for that. Shit, man, come on. Oh, with Havel's ring and everything. No, I need the grass crush shield, so that's got fifteen. This has seventeen, so it's better to keep this. Get rid of that. Still able to fast roll. So, what else can I give myself? Uh, yep. Alright, now I don't know if we'll be able to beat Quaylag, but <laughs> we're going to give it a try. And hopefully we succeed. Here comes the big run. Ah, 
Holy shit, Blight Town, just give me a break. Uh, let's see. We are gonna want the Rusted Iron Ring for this part. Alright, cool. And we just want to ignore the shit out of these ogres because they are strong and we do not want to mess with them. Straight into Koilag's hole. up before we go in. The one thing you have to watch out for in this fight is her AoE attack. So if I can pull this off, this fight, uh, so apparently I can't use Gold Pine Resin on the sword. Okay, maybe I should use this Y-hander then. I cannot. Uh, fuck. Uh, 195, it's got 200. Uh, I would have been pretty close. Alright. Whatever. Actually, I don't have a fire defense ring, do I? No. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Ah, oh, shit, I still have the fucking rainbow fire on. That's probably why it's still laggy. Nicholas Gage. Why am I heavy? Ah, it's AoE. Fuck, that was close. Come on, get out of here. Whew. What are you doing? Wait, what? Oh. Ah, uh, lava. Probably jump back. I can't move. Fuck me, I can't move. Come on. Ah, again? Seriously? Shit. 
lag. Please. Ah, uh, shit. That was close. Wow, I've never seen that attack before. Like, legitimately, I've never seen that attack. Uh, okay. 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 That was incredibly strange. This is much easier than I thought it was going to be at this stage. There we have it. First try. I think I only took like two major hits. That was pretty good. Much better than I thought it would go. We have twin humanities and then we can go down and see her. Her poor, poor sister below in the demon ruins. After we ring this bell of awakening. Okay, there we have it. The path to Sen's fortress is now open. Alright, well that over there is the Ceaseless Discharge. That is a pretty frustrating boss, I guess, as are most of the ones in the Demon Ruins. But we also have a secret. Oh, wait for that. We have a secret in this room right here. So we have this egg burdened here, and... He will allow us to see his fair lady. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha, ah, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Now we wait for him to eternally move out of the way. Takes him a while. Okay, okay, so this is Quaylag's sister. Uh, some people may get confused. Quaylag has a few sisters, and I believe her, br yeah, her brother, the Ceaseless Discharge. This is one of her many sisters. Uh, we don't learn. Uh, maybe we do learn her name. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure we don't learn her name. We just know her as the Fair Lady. And as you can tell, she is pale, sick, and dying. And if we could talk to her right now with a ring, I don't have it right now, but I believe it's the tiny being's ring that allows us to talk, or the old witch's ring. Probably the old witch's ring. She would tell us that she, well, she's also blind as well. So she'd be telling us, uh, she, she thinks we, we are Quaylag. And she would be talking to us as if we were her sister. And it's quite very sad and, uh, and poignant. And uh, unfortunately, I can't show it right now, but hopefully later in the playthrough, I can come back and show you that so we can get that dialogue and we can have that utterly heartbreaking moment. That sounds like fun, yeah? Well, right now we're going to level up and then we are going to finish this session. Actually, put it into strength. 24. And 15 decks. Alright. So... That will do us for today, guys. Next time we will continue on with Sen's Fortress, and after that, probably Anolondo as well, unless I decide to do a few more side quests. But that will be what is happening next time. We got through quite a bit today, even though I cut out most of it, uh, that being the Depths and the Lower Undead Berg. 
But honestly, I want to get this playthrough done before the release of Dark Souls 3, and I only have about a month's time, or less than that even, until it comes out here in Australia. So I'm going to get as most of Dark Souls done as I can, and hopefully I can finish it within that time, meaning I will be cutting corners within the main game. And yeah, that means I will be missing out, or cutting out some areas, like the depths or the lower undead berg that are not mandatory. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that. This is just a chilled out playthrough of just the basic game of Dark Souls with kind of as much lore as I can remember. It's not an in-depth run like it is with Dark Souls 2, so it's just very relaxed for me and it allows me to unwind after my days come to an end and I have some free time to record and uh, do some commentary. So yeah. That will do us for this episode, guys. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.